I'll just preface this by saying both of them are wearing the same colored pants and the same color headgear, okay? But Wing Chun guy, of course, is the one going in with the chain punching. And it's about to hit the ground. When it's on the ground, it's going to be really hard to see who's who. Wing Chun guy is the one slamming the C-Lock guy right now. Um, Wing Chun guy, the way to tell us, he's got a symbol on his shorts. At least the left side. Look at C-Lock guy with his flare. Look at this. Look at this. Hands all the way from his face. Look at that. <laughs> he's also trying to pull up his pants constantly. <laughs> so he's not completely dressed well for this occasion. Look at that. Both of them going in with their face wide open. Little flying knee. Or it was just a roundhouse kick that never extended. So it looked like a knee. Look at Silat guy with his flare with his hands away from his face. Wow, that low kick worked. Wing Chun guy barraging with chain punches. Wing Chun guy has that sort of center line guard with his hands away from his face. Nice sidekick by Silat guy. Finally, Silat guy's like, yeah, I gotta like follow up. <laughs> okay. It's going to the ground. Let's see. I mean, it could not go to the ground, but someone's probably gonna try a crank. Okay. If you look, Silat guy has guillotine a little bit. Right? You could tell, see Wing Chun guy, look at the shorts, right? That's Wing Chun guy on top trying to pass the other side. And. See, like, I was trying to control the hips, right? Prevent him from going to the other side. He's cranking. There is space, but he's not comfortable. He's not comfortable. So, Wing Chun guy looks a little lost. Any taps? Any taps, man? Dude, how confusing would it have been, bro, if we didn't make the distinction of the shorts and the long pants, and then when they're all tangled up like that, it's hard to see the shorts versus the pants, right? See that? But, yeah, see, Silat guy got that guillotine submission. So, it ended up on the ground. I know Silat has submissions, right? So, I don't know if there's a Silat version of what we call a guillotine choke. Wing Chun man, Sean Obasi. And he's in an MMA match. This guy is obviously a wrestler. And he ends up on top. Okay, here's some strikes to the head. But it ends up, again, in wrestling position. So, he has to play the, the little grappling game for a little bit longer. But hope to see a little bit more Wing Chun. So, okay, he's going for... Maybe that was a half attempt at an arm bar. I don't know, but it was slammed out of it. And um, I don't know. Oh, the gloves came off. The gloves of the wrestler came off. So, here we go. Let's go. So... Wing Chun guy, Sean, punching from the bottom. Oh, nice reversal. There we go. Uh-oh. He ate a punch, but now take it into your Wing Chun territory. Look at that. Look at the wooden show. He'll notice his Wing Chun stance was much more in his hip area because he's just preparing for double leg attempts and single leg attempts, right? So cool that he modified his Wing Chun stance, the wooden show, as they call it, Man Sao. I think it got him. I think it got him. Um, let's see what happened. I think so. Great sprawl by Sean Obasi. And then it was just punches. I think it was just punches that knocked him out. Now, um, were they Wing Chun specific punches? Could have been, right? I don't know. Because obviously in the different Wing Chun forms, we know there are both uppercuts and hooks and stuff like that. It's just we don't see, especially hooks, we don't see Wing Chun guys throw it too much. But there definitely are uppercuts and hooks. So, yeah, this is Sean Obasi, Wing Chun fighter in MMA. This one's very likely Western of origin, but it was uploaded on Chinese social media. So that's a Wing Chun guy. And I think he basically just finished it in the opening, man. Wow. Wow, yeah, I think that was it. Here we go. Here's another look at it again. Just a variety of punches from a different angle. And then just kept hitting him on the ground overwhelmed him basically right overwhelming him with a lot of strikes he actually pulled it off for example when Xu Xiaodong fought Ding Hao Xu Xiaodong just covered up eventually after the guy wore himself out Xu Xiaodong just dominated but in this case if you time the strikes to more precise parts of the face it actually could work hope you guys are doing well and make sure to press a like and subscribe if you're not I'm always looking for this type of Wing Chun evidence even if you lost using Wing Chun 
I still want to feature it because we got to get more of this stuff tested. Anytime Wing Chun steps into the cage, into the ring, whatever, we'll love to see it. All right, guys, a lot more to come. Wrist is feeling much, much better this week. So I'm going to see the OT next week. As this keeps improving, a lot of great things to come. Also, guys, I signed up for my first chess tournament in August. A lot of chess. Anyone that wants to play chess with me, contact me. Let me know. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Here's a Chinese MMA match. Wing Chun guy, black shorts. And his name is Lin Ya. That's at least what he goes by. And he's got his right hand extended. And let's see what happens. Is he going to trap, intercept? What is he going to do? Let's see. I think he's trying to trap and hit. He's definitely... Okay, yeah. He looks a little bit like Silala with how he responds his combos. Why'd that camera move? We missed the action right there. Anyways. Feeling each other out slowly. I'm pretty sure Wing Chunga has a reach advantage. Ooh, nice roundhouse kick. There it is. You see that? That was a Wing Chun hook right there. Um, that If you guys go back, that hook looked a little bit different than the boxer hook, but it had its effectiveness. In fact, there might have been a, even a palm instead of a closed fist to that. So, he is fighting on his back feet. Oh, great angle, but then he ate a punch upon the exit of that exchange. So... He does that. He found that really cool angle, though. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, that was a good tactical withdraw, as they say. So, this is a cage, but notice, guys, it's not an octagon. I just realized it's a, it's a like a square cage. So, I don't know what's going on here. Notice those Olympic symbols in the back. So the ref eventually stands them up. It was a really confusing ground section, so I'm not even going to show you guys that. So Wing Chun guy should know, don't go to the ground, because he was definitely the one on the bottom. And that was the end of round one.